Lastly, we need to cover phase actions. This is a smaller um, module. As you can see, there is not a lot going on, but it's actually technically one of the biggest in a way due to the hundred of actions possible to trigger. So phase actions are um, assigned in phases. So here you have your NPC, they have their, diff they have their own phases, but when they enter or exit a phase, you can trigger specific actions here. So here you can assign an action template and in an action template, we can add as many as we want. For each action to be triggered, we can decide if it's going to be triggered when entering the phase or when we exit it. And below it, this is optional, so the requirements are not mandatory. You could leave this blank and basically the actions here that you assign are going to be triggered no matter what. But if you do want those to be triggered only based on certain requirements, you can go under template, requirement and create your own, right? So you will go ahead and here you even have the option to check if the requirements could be or rather should be checked on the caster, so in this case the NPC, or on its target. And same for the game actions, um, should those actions be triggered on the caster, so the NPC or its targets. And here we simply drag and drop or assign a game action template. So if we go under here, template, game action, create a new one, you can see that we can uh, add as many as we want and we have hundreds of available options. So for example, at a certain phase, we could, I don't know, give a quest or we could get some experience or it could dismount you for some reason. It could change your faction or the faction of the NPC. <laughs> it's really like endless freedom on what those can do. And again, you can trigger them uh, either at the start or the end of um, a phase. So yeah, that's not really a long video. This one doesn't need to go much in detail. I think you really get the idea of what this does. But this is an extra layer of um, customization and possibilities and just extra ways to make your game cool. So as always, let me know what you think. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.